Hello Year 10 and welcome to your second lesson of the week which is your second lesson about Birmingham and today we are focusing on the migration patterns into Birmingham and how that has impacted the city of Birmingham. So first thing we need to do is understand that there are lots of different types of migration and some of them are more applicable to HICs than they are to LICs and NEEs and vice versa. The second part of our journey today is that we're then going to explain the impacts of migration on the growth and character of Birmingham. We will talk about what those keywords mean in a bit. And then the final thing we're going to do is we're going to test our geographical skills to evaluate the overall impact of migration onto the city of Birmingham. The equipment you need to have ready for this lesson is a pen or a pencil and some paper. There's a game that is linked onto class charts and there is also a, a document linked onto class charts called Birmingham Growth and Character. Moving on to our first part of the lesson today then. There are five different types of migration that you need to know. And you need to know these because we see so much in the news about the different types of migration and how migration is bad and how people choose to migrate when actually this isn't the case. So there is the type of national migration when people move from one part of the country to another. So, for example, Miss Davis moving from Sheffield to Birmingham is an example of national migration. You have international migration when people move to a different country from the one that they were originally living in. So if you were living in Australia and you chose to move to the UK, that would be international migration. You have forced migration when people have to leave their country because of war or refuge or they are refugees or they have got religious persecution and they have to leave their country because they are not safe in their country of origin. You have voluntary migration when people choose to leave their home and move to a different region or country. It could be that you are moving for education. It could be that you are moving for jobs, have better opportunities of healthcare, things like that. And then finally, rural to urban migration kind of links with voluntary migration, but it is a specific movement from the countryside to the city. And those are the five types that we need you to know as geographers. And to just consolidate that information for you, your task that I want you to do is to draw five images which represent each type of migration. That is for if you are working at a grade three or four, because it will aid you in your revision of these keywords. If you want to sort of skip the drawing stage and just think about how all five of these could link to wider examples of geographical knowledge. So, for example, we studied rural to urban migration in Rio um, and you can do that for all five. And then if you want to work at your grade sevens and above, I want you to think about which type of migration would Birmingham experience the most. So, for example, Birmingham wouldn't experience much rural to urban migration anymore because a lot of this happened back in the during the Industrial Revolution, as you learned in the UK economies topic. So pick one of those three tasks and do that task now for me. Moving on to growth and character. Now, these are two key words that you're going to hear a lot in the Birmingham topic. Growth just means how migration affects the size of the population. So if there is a lot of migration to Birmingham, this will impact the growth. Character is how migration would change what the city is like to live in. So what facilities does it have? What sense of community is there? What the residents are like? Are they tolerant? Are they welcoming? So, for example, an impact of migration in Birmingham is that the Balti Triangle has become a famous cultural landmark in Sparkbrook as migrants from Southeast Asia have set up curry houses. You need to think, has that increased the number of people living in the area or has it changed the facilities that the area has to suit a new population? So in this case, this will be a change in character because the services have changed to suit the style of the population that have moved in. There are now more Southeast Asian people living in these areas. So the cuisine and the facilities have changed to suit those people. Draw this quick table in the bottom corner, growth and character two columns, and then open the Word document called Birmingham Growth and Character. I want you to read the examples for different parts of Birmingham of growth or character and sort them into the correct column. So there is a list of impacts and you need to sort them into whether it affects the size or the, the characteristics of the city. So for developing, you're going to sort the examples. 
To be secure, I want you to say whether it is an example of national migration, have they moved within the country, or is it international migration from outside of the country? If you can, then to be at 7 plus, as we know, we always have to include a however. Try and include a challenge that goes with each example. So, for example, the Balti Triangle is a famous cultural landmark. The associated problem might be that more traditional older people who used to live in the area might not like the change in facilities. There is a word wall game associated with this task, which will help you check your understanding. So once you've done the table, you can check your answers on the word wall game. And finally, the last part of your learning journey today is to start doing the evaluation that you know is so important in geography. So. The statement is, migration into Birmingham has only had positive impacts. To what extent do you agree with this statement? The first thing I want you to do is draw a cartoon head. And if you agree that Birmingham has only got positive impacts, I want you to draw a smiley face. If you disagree and think it also has negative impacts, that would have a sad face. If you want to sit on the fence and do a straight face because you're not sure, that is also fine. Then I want you to create a speech bubble coming from the head and explain why you agree or disagree in two sentences. So I agree with the sentence because and try and provide some evidence. If you are secured, I want you to create a pedal paragraph explaining why you agree or disagree. So you need a point, you need an explain, you need a development. So this means that and you need a this leads to and linking it to seek. For master, you know you have to include that however sentence to get those higher grades because you need to show that you can evaluate. At the bottom in the yellow box, I have put uh, some sentence starters which link with each attempt of each grade. So developing would be grades three to four. Secure, if you add these two sentences in, that would lead you to being around a grade five or six. And then obviously with the master sentence starter, that would give you a grade seven or above provided it is linked to the original point that you have made. That brings us to the end of our second lesson of the week. And this means you now must upload your work. So the first thing I want you to upload are the pictures that you drew for your migration definitions, because these are really key ways to promote revision and retention of this knowledge. Your table of character versus growth, as that allows you to expand the impacts of migration. And then finally, your speech bubble and your pedal, which shows you are able to evaluate the overall impact of migration. Well done for participating in today's lesson, and we look forward to seeing and reading your work. Thank you.